Brian, what is the number one superpower for CFOs for the future and why? It's a good, it's a, it's a good question. I'm not, I'm not, it's hard to predict the future. Um, I think as I, as I, as I think about that question, again, I go back to that same mentor I had, um, is it one of my early CFOs? And I, I think he just, he was very deliberate about, uh, his approach, but, uh, as I think about that one superpower and what he taught me is it's people, I think the ability to, to empower your team. Um, whether that's internal or external, every finance leader has a team, uh, and then to lever them, right? So empower and lever your 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 team. You know, the reason I say that as opposed to to generally just automation or just new tools is there's always something new. We we will become obsolete effectively. You know, just just due to the time period of when we were trained and what we learned. Um, you know, I, I think he told me that that mentor. Uh, early in my career, he's he, he was he had he had waited the day for twenty years uh, when he would be um, less efficient and less effective than one of the younger people on his staff. And yeah. He said I was the first person that he realized it was faster and cheaper and better for me to do his work than it was for him to do his work. Yeah, um, and and I think it's it's I think we all find that as we go further into our careers, especially as uh, leaders in finance, that there's always going to be an up and comer who's who's more in touch with the tools of today, that's more uh, adept to to coding or to spreadsheets or whatever it may be. And so we just need to make sure we can communicate effectively with them, empower them, and lever the data that that they can originate um, and and pivot. So, yeah, I think it all points back to what we discussed about you know, automation and efficiency metrics and all those type of things. But yeah, I think as a superpower, I, I don't think it's changed. I think it was the same over the last 20 years and I think it'll continue where it's, you have to, it's all about people. Uh, that's, that's, that's what it comes down to as a, as a leader in finance.